Hey yo folks, it's Lingo Lowblast here and I am having a good chunk of my supply chain disrupted by exterior forces! I honestly don't even know how comfortable I feel making this video because I think it's off brand. I think in my mind, Lowblast is meant to be selling escapism. So, I, I don't want to be talking about government stuff or God stuff, but the powers that be. Most online communities that I hang out in have a very explicit defined rule or an implicitly unstated rule that we you know we're not just gonna hang out and tech talk about those subjects because they're a little bit outside of the focus of the group and experience dictates that uh, letting those conversations go can result in a festering long and or short term dumpster fire flame wars. For the past two years, I've been getting most of my PCBs from PCBWay in China. This is not an ad, but holy shizballs, are they cheap and you get them like within nine days delivered to your door? I did the math, 140% markup coming into the states and then if china retaliates equally it'd be another 140 percent putting us at 290 percent plus the original cost of the good 100 percent 390 percent basically four times the price and it's still cheaper than domestic production what this is my initial prototype for an nes controller it was having problems though until someone suggested Recently, I used 3K pull-up resistors and that fixed it, but I think the original problem really was that I'm using 1K resistors instead of what the NESDEV documentation says, use 10K resistors. But with this part solved, I decided it was time for the next revision of the project. So I opened KiCad and then I submitted it to PCBWay and... Usually with prototype boards, you pay $5 for 10 of them, but these are over 100 millimeters long in a dimension, so it's more like $22 for a prototype. So our tariff with China Reality is on May 2nd, 120% tax plus $100 per package. And then on June 1st, it's $200 additional on each package delivered. But unless it's over $800 worth of goods, then you just pay the 145% tariff. Osh Park here is, I believe, a United States uh, company and they specialize in the niche market of prototyping boards. So they want 55.75 for three boards and they're uh, apparently community oriented. Oh, and made in the USA, but. I've also seen people complain about these, these rat bites being some kind of issue because you gotta file them down and you don't want to breathe that fiberglass. So they specialize in uh, what, $5 per square inch prototype boards. That's, that's nice. Uh, it's, you know, so for like little things like this, that's great, right? No problem. But these these bigger boards, like like these, yeah, I don't know. And then also like where I get most of these parts uh, from Mauser, but I don't know where the speaker is manufactured or the battery clip. I did just discover though that the the potentiometer is uh, from Taiwan, so that's that's nice. I don't know what their shipping rates are, but it, man, it's it's a burn. Mo moving from from what I was used to in this endeavor to where what things are going, I don't. <laughs> the other thing, NES PCBs are a different thickness than the standard. The 1.2 instead of 1.6 millimeters fat. 1.6. That's it. That's it. So I guess in order to prototype boards i'll just need a, a dedicated nes console unit so i can stretch out the the pins you just stretch them out uh, most of my research on the pcb fabrication is from this website pcb shopper and i think in order to get into the list you have to have a have an api 
OSH perk there is, is the only one in here because um, when I taught myself how to make boards like two plus years ago I did my research trying to get uh, domestic manufacturing or even uh, local to the metro Detroit area would have been really great but uh, they they don't have APIs to do pricing and what ga information I did gather is like if you were going to do at least a thousand you sh shouldn't bother. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay, there's we got Lion Circuits, it's in India, which I think is going to be my my best bet for uh, bulk, I guess. On the solutions front, prototyping could be much worse. It's, it's not a bad solution and it, for the longer, bigger runs, uh, just a different overseas fabricator, different country. Okay. Uh, but if anybody watching this has any suggestions for uh, like a competitive price domestically here in the States for doing 100 to 400, 500 boards, that would be really helpful in the, in the comments. But I also have two other uh, parts I'm a little worried about. These are the chips that I use for my NES uh, game cartridge boards. These are uh, these aren't new old stock. I think they are recycled, repurposed, uh, reprogrammable chips that I'm not certain, but might be sold as programmable once chips. But you can see that they're all uh, marked the same. But if you look like this, the first two have the corner dots and the rest don't. And then there's these other dots. This is this is a non-infinite uh, resource though, and I'll probably have to not use through holes at some point. And a lot of these are already in the states, so. Not that concerned. Another thing I spent a lot of time on was trying to figure out how to keep sourcing these uh, replacement cables that I'm using for the controllers, because, uh, yeah, these, these are from China, and I don't think any other nation is bothering to fabricate bootleg game controller replacement cables. I'm, I'm planning on doing a Super Nintendo controller too. It, it had this page open and I went to add more on the quantity and then it's like, nah, nah, we're just, we're just not sending that to you. Sorry, sucker. On eBay, I found this seller, uh, five and a half dollars each. I think that's like a 700% markup. It's from Denmark, so it's $25 shipping. But it's, it's like uh, the, the cables are snipped in the photo, like I'd have to strip them all. So what, what I see down here is, can I click that? I can click that. It's loading. Boom, 10, 10 units extension cables. So I would have to cut this end off and strip everything down, but uh, it's, it's cheaper that way. <laughs> what a nightmare. Oh boy, I think I hit it the points I wanted to make. This was a pretty distracting uh, thing for me. Last week, uh, as as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the, the escapism, I, so I wound up deleting uh, some rants, but to distill those down, I would say uh, it seems trendy right now for humans to feed on conflict. And uh, I, I wanna make a conscious choice to evolve and adapt along with reality the best I can in a positive way. And uh, you know, if I, if I participate in obtuse reactionaryisms, it's just more conflict. Yippee, yippee! Thanks for uh, hanging out and uh, watching the video. Uh, you know, hit like and subscribe if if you want. And I got we got Low Blast, uh, Kofi, and Pat Rion, and, and numerous social uh, media accounts. Yeah, yeah, yippee, yippee. Yippee! Yippee!